Pranam Mukherjee's mission Colombo has achieved its limited purpose. A key ally can project himself as a savior of Tamils. The president agreed to expand the safe zone. The center appears concerned for the Tamil diaspora. International agencies who are engaged in the relief measures, they should be allowed to visit. And with the war almost won, Colombo is finally ready to listen to South Clock. I mean, the 13th Amendment of the Sri Lankan Constitution, President assured me that this would be the area of his urgent attention. Kanam Mukherjee has been playing the role of a messenger over the last 24 hours. First, he carries a message from Karuna Nidhi to Rajapaksa, and now he's carried back a message from Rajapaksa to Karuna Nidhi. It goes something like this. Use your influence with the LTTE to persuade the Tigers to lay down their arms. Karuna Nidhi, given his poor health, will not personally accept the offer. And neither has his political rival for her own reasons. It would be very useful if Mr. Karuna Nidhi made a visit to Sri Lanka because Mr. Karuna Nidhi has always been a staunch supporter and a close friend of the LTTE. This posturing, though, will have no material impact on the war in the forests of Vani. Sri Lankan troops have now entered Vishwamadu, the last LTTE stronghold. Up to two lakh innocent people remain trapped, and like Prabhakaran, their fate remains uncertain. With Minakshi Mahadevan in Chennai, in New Delhi, Padu.